Okay, so uh, in this video segment, uh, I'm going uh, uh, to address the PyDoc command why it wasn't working in window issue because we left it out uh, in the week two class. Uh, it turns out actually the way uh, in Windows you would do it uh, differently. So let me show you how, how would you do this. So uh, you will start from the command prompt, right? Now, uh, the Windows username is student, so it defaults to that directory. Uh, you can look, I have a workspace here, right? So we will change to workspace. And then there is a week two project directory here. So we'll change to week two. And uh, yeah, if I do a dir, you will see these are the modules, right? So assuming I want to see the uh, use PyDoc to document the module called week 2 i.py. So the command, instead of you do that pi dot like this with week 2 i, which it tells you, you know, it turns out the pi doc it's a, it's a package. It's already in the Python's uh, environment. It just does not know the directories where it is. But oftentimes, uh, during the class, uh, some folks discovered uh, you can run this thing when you switch to that path. But then, you know, where are you? How do you point to this along with the other associated modules, right? So, the way I I did some googling and did some experiment and. Uh, I'm positive this is the way how you do it. Okay, so you would type Python, and you what you do is you treat dash m stands for basically you're you're running a package or module which is pre-built into a Python's library. So you will load this. Basically, you say Python, load the module, and then execute it. Uh, you know, and then execute it. So. Then this is the target module we wanted to uh, document, and this will work. So if I hit enter, you see here, it's, it tells you the name, right? This says help on the module to I, the name, the file location, and the author, and the function, right? And now I'll show you the function, okay? so. So we default to workspace, right? So you will see this. Just give a minute because it re runs everything. So now uh, if we open this, right, the I Pi. So this is the iPi. Let me make it bigger so you can see it. See this? This is the author Jack Wong. The author Jack Wong, right? And it was when it was created. It created this. It was says it created this, right? So, and it has one function, cheese and a cracker. So this is the function, right? I assign the value during the execution. Right, the last value is 10. See here, amount of cheese is 10, and amount of cracker 50. So it says that's what you assign to. Okay, now uh, just to show you, this is what it is. So let me just modify this. I will do say company, put a company here. Company is let's just say AV Tech. Right, and then in here, uh, someone in the class talked about that. What if I pass the wrong, you know, type? So I want to document this S just for the. So I will say where again. This is a comment, right? So you know, just by looking at the code, you will think this is just for programmer looking at the source code. Uh, the comment as a documentation but actually it turns out you can do this build on the fly documentation so I said where and where this variable the count the cheese count and box of cracker count both 
have to be integers. Okay. So now let's see if if the PyDoc will pick up this or not. Look at this. See, it's company is ad tag, right? Where it, the, this is the notes to the function, the parameters where cheese count and box both have to be integer. Now I can also add this uh, the this function returns a uh, returns nothing. It it just print. Counts. Okay, so now if I save this and then run it again, it will add the notes here. Okay, all right. So again, this is the function syntax. You, you this is the syntax. How do you run PyDoc? Doc, and then this uh, you can just put a, a, just about any modules. If I do this here, you know. I'll say here to how wait there is the document documentation name of the mo when module and when it's created where the location is the author is and this is the parameter which you know you entered okay so that's how you use it in uh, PyDoc uh, in Windows thanks for watching.